Well, if I ask you which is the most cleanest, greenest and affordable city in Delhi NCR, then you're right. The answer is Noida City. Now, this Noida City falls under Gautam Buddhinagar constituency. This constituency starts from Noida and spreads till Bulansheher in Uttar Pradesh. And this constituency came into existence in 2008. This Lok Sabha constituency has five Vidhan Sabha seats, which are Noida, Jewar, Dadri, Khurja and Sikandrabad. This constituency has mix of both urban and rural voters. From high net worth individuals to youth migrated from different parts of country for better job opportunities. In this report, we'll be talking to the people and we'll try to understand the mood on ground and perhaps we'll talk to them about the real issues of common man from Gautam Buddhinagar constituency. What are the real issues that you face uh, every day when you live in Noida? I feel uh, there are two, three issues which are, which should be addressed at the earliest. One is the traffic management. Okay. Traffic management is not uh, up to mark. Uh, there are lots of violations, I mean, done by people, mm. willingly or unwillingly. Mm. We have to address the pollution, uh, ah. if, uh, pollution aspect of... Ah. Though uh, Noida may not be that bad when you talk about overall NCR, but still the level is not good. Uh, sir, uh, we were talking about uh, the sewage problem in Noida, the open sewage uh, uh, problem, in fact, and... Uh, and what are your thoughts on that? What are, you, what are your views on that? Let's take a small example of the sewage problem mm. which everybody is facing. Why do we have to, as, um, as society members or RWA, need to keep putting it across mm. to the administration? It should happen automatically. How is the response time of police in Noida? And do you really feel safe in Noida, uh, you know, maybe late in the evening, at night, walking on the roads? I've been in Noida for 30 years and I would say we have come a long way. We've come a long, We've come a long way. So I think we are in a good space, but I would want more. Okay. Right? Okay. I would not trust my daughter to go out alone after 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I manage a huge workforce, mm -hmm. right? Uh, when these young girls who come to work, when they go, I'm honestly worried we give a company transport till they reach home and we have a mechanism where they say we have reached home. So I don't think we still have that safety. And why them, even the maids who come home, mm. they go back late at uh, 10 o'clock after working. Mm. So many of them come back and report. These are not big things, but if somebody is being eve teased, there is nothing on these roads. JP, uh, I mean, this is also a criticism that they do for Bharti Janta Party, ki desh mein vipaksh khatam kar diya hai. And the same is an allegation on you, ki Gautam Buddha Nagar mein vipaksh khatam kar diya hai. How do you like to take this uh, allegation? Ki, nobody can finish anybody. Hmm. Nobody can finish the vipaksh or something hmm. like that. Hmm. It's their bad deeds, hmm. whether it is in uh, my constituency or whether at national level, hmm. that the opposition is mm. dying or practically dead. Mm. It is true. Mm. They have not been able to do justice with the role which they have been destined to. Mm. They have not done justice to that. Mm. Rather, they were intermingling in issues which were not relevant. Gautam Buddh Nagar is an important industrial district of Uttar Pradesh. It's a hub of MSMEs and consists of a large number of ready-made garment factories. Here we are working, uh, uh, we have uh, more than 3,000 members in, only in the Gautam Buddh Nagar. So we are uh, giving the employment more than uh, 5 lakh people here. Mm. So as soon as the last 5, five years, I should say 10 years concern, mm. we are very happy because we have we got the good name in handicraft and home textile. Mm. Our Prime Minister's working is wonderful. In a way, the new policy which has come from the Modi government is full of appreciation. I am for it. Personally, I am for it. Maybe uh, there are other people, there are other exporters, there are other uh, fraternity which is not satisfied. They say, no, it is between us. How much credit we need for 60 days or 90 days between us. But I think um, for last, uh, like say, that since the policy has come, the way the momentum has catch up with the MSMEs for their payments. So all the uh, factories or you can say all the big companies, they are automatically calling them and giving them payment. Sir, 
सबसे पहले ये बताइए कि एयरपोर्ट यहाँ पे आ रहा है एक डेडलाइन सेट ही की गई है कि एयरपोर्ट बनेगा और उससे जिसे कहते हैं कि पूरा पश्चिमी उत्तर प्रदेश का विकास होगा ना सिर्फ जेवर या गौतम बुद्ध नगर जिले का सब जगह होगा अगर बात करूं रोजगार की विधायक जी तो जो आम युवा है जेवर का या जो आम युवा है गौतम बुद्ध नगर का उसको कैसे रोप इन किया जाएगा जब एयरपोर्ट बनेगा देखिए दो से पहले इस जेवर क्षेत्र में ना तो कोई औद्योगिक विकास था ना आवागमन के साधन थे 2017 में प्रदेश के मुखिया योगी आदित्यनाथ जी बने उसके बाद से जेवर की तकदीर ने जो बदलाव देखा वह आपके सामने सब ये बताइए कि जो जेवर में एयरपोर्ट आ रहा है इससे आप लोगों को किस तरह फायदा होगा और कितने एक्साइटेड हैं कि एशिया का सबसे बड़ा एयरपोर्ट जेवर आ रहा है देखो जी किसान की तो जमीन जा रही है विधायक जी ने कही और सब कह रहे हैं विधायक जी की बात ना है ये हमारी माँ जा रही है अब हम कहीं बसे कहीं जाके तो कम से कम ऐसे तो बस जाए ठीक ठाक मतलब अपनी गुजर बसर करते हैं अब जो पहले जो मुआवजे दिए गए तो बहुत थोड़े दिए गए या तो हमारे एरिया को एक भी किसान संतुष्ट ना आए यहाँ पे अगर इस क्षेत्र की पहचान बनी है तो वो 2017 के बाद बनी है इस एयरपोर्ट की बदौलत अच्छा। आज अगर हम ये मान लें कि हमें इस एयरपोर्ट का कोई लाभ नहीं मिल रहा है तो वो हमारी सबसे बड़ी भूल है क्योंकि आज जिस जेवर क्षेत्र को बहुत पिछड़ा क्षेत्र माना जाता था और हम गौतम बुद्ध नगर की लास्ट तहसील हुआ करते थे यहाँ पे लोग आना भी पसंद नहीं करते थे और आज विश्व पटल के लोग यहाँ पर आ रहे हैं इस वक्त हमारी जमीनें एयरपोर्ट और यहाँ का क्षेत्र में लगने वाली फैक्ट्रियों के लिए जब जमीनें ली जा रही थी तो उस वक्त अपने स्थानीय जनप्रतिनिधियों के माध्यम से चाहे अपने क्षेत्रीय विधायक जी अपने क्षेत्रीय सांसद और माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी के द्वारा एक सबको आश्वासन दिया गया था कि 40 परसेंट स्थानीय बच्चों को योग्यता के अनुसार नौकरियाँ मिलेंगी लेकिन अभी वो ऐसा कहीं कोई कुछ अभी है नहीं Noida's growing real estate sector and increasing presence of manufacturing and electronics industries as well as its proximity to Delhi make it a major business and commercial center in North India. Valiya sahab agar business community se baat kare to kya kuch hua hai aur kya ummeedein hain jo kiya ja sakta hai better karne ke liye. Modi ji ne bahut acha kaam kiya hai business ke liye. Hamara business grow kar raha hai ab dheere dheere aur jab se Modi ji aaye kafi acche ho gaya Yogi ji ke aane se यहाँ पे जो पहले व्यापारियों को डर लगता था वो डर खत्म हो गया बदलाव तो हो ही रहे हैं ऐसी कोई शिकायत नहीं बस एक ही शिकायत है ऑनलाइन बिजनेस ने हमारा धंधा बंद कर रखा है ऑनलाइन ने बंद कर रखा है हाँ, हमारा कस्टमर भाई कस्टमर हमारा आते ही नहीं है BJP has once again put its faith in sitting Gautam Buddh Nagar MP Mahesh Sharma. His frequent interactions with residents and speedy redressal of their issues has won him a ticket again. Uh, how will you assure that uh, people get uh, good uh, drinking water uh, uh, in their houses? See, this is true hmm. because this belt where the city has been developed hmm. used to be called as a Yamuna River's Khadar, Achha. barren land. This was ah, ah. not fertile land. Hmm. Hmm. Now what has happened? The tedious of that area water is even it crosses 2000. Hmm. Permitted limits is around 500 hmm. or so. Hmm. It is really matter of concern. But hmm. the Gar government has taken initiatives. Ganga Nehar water in all those where tedious crosses above 500, hmm. they will be given Ganga water. Hmm. The process has already started connecting Ganga Nehar from that place to this place. Sir, a very last question. I know I have taken much of your time. Uh, public transport is something which people have been telling us that Noida doesn't have a very effective public transport system. Uh, I'm not talking about the metro services that are going on, but you know uh, the whole, uh, the sector to sector connectivity. Other than the e-rickshaws and the and the rickshaws, there's no proper bus service uh, that is going on. So, is that in the pipeline? Is that in the pipeline? Rightly, you have said. Our government took initiatives. Pre-corona period, 200 buses were started, intercity buses. Mm -hmm. But during corona phase, that process got destabilized, mm -hmm. and all those buses even are lying in the yard. Mm -hmm. Now we are again initiating this process. Mm -hmm. Our people have will be meeting the CEO, and he has promised that city bus service, maybe in a smaller level, will be started very soon. <laughs> With cities like Noida and Greater Noida, Gautam Buddha Nagar has become one emerging destination on the map of India for investors. With the announcement of airport, film city, and the new data center policy, this 
constituency is prepared to give tough competition to cities like Bengaluru and Hyderabad. Well, till elections, we will keep on bringing special reports from various constituencies of Uttar Pradesh. Till then, goodbye.